Assalamu alaikum my name is Tamu Sikandar and today we are going to create another android tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to perform the update inside our firebase so for this tutorial uh, let me please show you what we are going to do log in and enter the password okay click on this go button and we are inside our profile if you are new to our channel and if you don't know how to create these designs and if you also don't know how to perform these uh, login we are first storing the data inside the sign up then we Find the data in the login and show the data in our profile. You can also get these design tutorials. You can also get these uh, Firebase tutorials. Uh, link is in the description. Okay, in here uh, you can see at the left side we have a Firebase and at the right we have a mobile. The both data is same. Okay, let's change the username or the full name to Tamur and click on update. So you can see the data has been updated and it is also updated on the Firebase. So again, change the password to maybe one, two, three, four, five, and click on this update. And you can see that password has been also been updated. So let's suppose if nothing is changed, uh, it is a full name, it is Tamu, and it should not call the Firebase again and again. So to avoid that, I just created a check. And so when we click on this update button, so it is showing data is same and cannot be updated. So it is again, uh, let's change four again to five. So it is same so data is not going to update so this is what we are going to create so let's get started okay so we are in our profile section and inside uh, we already created this design so if you don't know how to create this design you can check the videos link is in the description and also we are fetching the values from the login screen when the user entered the values we first want to authenticate when the user is authenticated and then we fetch that values from the login screen and show them in here so for today's tutorial we want to update so when the user click on this update button a function will be executed click on this update button and go for the search search on click and in here we are going to create a function which will be named as update you can see it is currently red because we don't have a function with the name of update so go to userprofile.java to create that function. It should be public to be accessible outside this class and returning nothing, public void update and it should have a view inside it. So it can be called directly from the design. So when we go back and now you can see the red line has been gone because we have a function which is update and you can see it is changed from gray to black. So first of all, before starting, uh, let me please show you what is uh, happening inside our Java file. Uh, we just created the hooks in the previous tutorial. It's very simple. Then we are calling the show all users data. So in here, in the previous tutorial, when the user try to log in and it is authenticated, user has some data, it will be logged in in the profile. And we are getting these data uh, passed from intent and assigning this user data which is in the database to our username name email and phone number you can see i just make them capital with the underscore at the start so we have this firebase data of this user in our global variables so these are declared here so close this one so what we want to do is we want to make an update if I am going to create the functions for the authentication. Uh, we don't want to actually call our database again and again, but we want to call the database only if there is some change in our fields. So for that, write if I am going to create a function which is is name changed or or so double or means if this case or any other function is changed. So we want to execute this if is password changed so for this tutorial I am only creating these two functions so the first one is is name changed so you can double click and click on this bulb create a method is name changed and also click on this and go to the bulb create a method is password changed so we have two functions is password chain and is name changed so they are returning something which is boolean so if they return true so currently close them so if 
uh, anything is changed what we want to do is we want to simply create a new toast and inside this we want to pass data has been updated make it to length long okay so if the update has been called and his name changed and his password changed is changed anything then we are going to call these functions and if anything is changed then it will be simply calling this data has been updated otherwise it is not showing anything so the first thing for the database is inside this on create method we want to create a database reference create a global variable for database reference and name it reference reference is equal to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference and the reference will be users so what this basically is doing i actually already explained about this but for this tutorial let me quickly clear you so for the firebase currently this one is the instance at the top then we have a reference so let's suppose we have a users then we have another table so this is called the reference so the users is basically reference our reference is pointing to users then we have sub uh, many child nodes of this or the childs of this reference which is users so in here i am writing go to the firebase database and inside point to the instance and inside that instance we have a reference called users so currently this reference has all the users the list of users so uh, we are going to perform the queries on this reference so close this on create and so for now uh, let's go to the update function and so when the user click on that update button this function will be called and this function is first going to check if is name changed so this function so let's go to is name change function in here so we want to check that is name changed so for that we have a database name that is currently on the in the variable which is here and underscore name so what i am going to do is if underscore name dot equals dot equals and we need to get this name uh, which is entered by the user or it can be changed it can be modified so i am going to get this value and compare it with the value get from the uh, login screen so so its name is in here it is full underscore name underscore profile and we already created that hook full name profile and this hook is full name so what I am going to do is full name dot get edit text. So if you are not using a material design, you don't have to write this edit text, but you can simply write dot text dot get text. Then dot get text dot to string. And if they are equal, now if they are not equal, so assign an exclamation mark. This means not. So if not name is equal to full name, that means the user is uh, trying to change something if this is a case we first want to update and then we are going to return true or false depend upon the situation and in the else what we want to do is we want to return false if user is changing something or uh, if you want to update the full name then we are going to create the reference we already created the hook at the top reference so reference dot child so which child reference has all the usernames you can see here all the usernames a b c d then tamur and uh, so on so forth so it is currently have all the childs so we are uh, restricting it to the specific child which is the username which is underscore username so this is the username of that specific user currently we are displaying the data inside our profile or who is login uh, logged in in the application so for this username what we want to do is we want to okay what this query is doing go to the child's go to the reference which is users go to child which is tamur and inside uh, search for these child's so we are going to update name so make sure uh, you spell it correctly or you write correctly spellings must be same name and inside here we're going to write name dot 
set value and the value could be anything so this time we are going to update the value is this field anything user has entered not in double quotes inside this field if you want to validate first it's up to you you can check the validation tutorials and the link is in the description and we want to return true okay so this is the case with a full name or press alt ctrl l to align them simply copy this one so his name changed then inside is password chain we're going to paste this and in here it is not a name it is password dot equals to password dot get text then we want to call username this should be same because we want to point that user and inside we don't want to point name of that user but we want to point password so make sure it is same we have a password password okay so we want to set the value the value of password field so that's it open the update so this function record so for now we can say we can show the error message or the message simply this is not the error but just for your guys understanding or just for the help I am going to write data is same and cannot be updated okay so let's run the application okay we are in our uh, login screen and in here we need to pass or we need to write the data which is inside our database and the username is temu and the password is click on this go button and wait for the data to be fetched okay we are in our profile and this data you can match this data with our firebase database it is same so let me change the name here okay let it be temul click on this update button you can see we have received the message and also the data has been updated in the database so again uh, we are not uh, changing anything click on this update uh, data has been updated uh, this means we haven't yes uh, i got the problem so let's test with the password try to update it and it should be updated in password field let's quickly assign the variables uh, we want to update this variable which is name and the password so in here when everything has been changed so inside this we want to change this password dollar password is equal to this one and also we want to update for the name changed so when the new data has been saved what we want to do is this name should be equal to the name field full name it is full name yes over here as well okay so let's run it again and open our firebase okay let's log in again using the username okay so now uh, let's change the password first to one five only updated and updated has been placed then change name to Sikandar and again the update has been placed when we click on this update again data is same and cannot be updated so again for the password so again uh, let's remove the 5 and write the 5 again click on this update is same and cannot be updated so uh, this is so that's it for the update so in the next coming videos we are going to start another complete android application okay so that's it for this tutorial in the next coming videos uh, we are done with our firebase we have created a root tree we are stored the data in firebase we are updating we are using the authentications so for now and onward i am going to start a new application which will be a place to ready application which will be a professional application and cover all the databases tutorials and which will cover all the maps all the databases and i am getting a lot of requests about anything and that anything will be covered inside this new series of tutorials so uh, stay tuned 
uh, stick with me and you are not just going to learn Android but you will be able to create your professional application and you will also learn how to use how to upload that in the Play Store and how to apply for the ad mob and apply ads or to show ads on your app okay so that's it for today if you are new to the channel please subscribe to the channel and if you learn something new please hit the like button and if you have some questions you can tell me down below in the comments thank you for watching take care Allah Hafiz